Yo, what's up guys, it's Hotshot4 bringing you another tutorial video. In this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how you can hack Pokemon Go just by using your phone in 2023. It's a very simple process and it's really easy. Like, all you have to do is have a browser, your settings app, and then um, Pokemon Go, which I'll be showing you how to get. So first, the first step you want to take, okay, is you actually want to delete the actual Pokemon Go app. The Pokemon Go that you download off the App Store. You don't want that. I'm going to be showing you how you can get another alternative to the App Store. And it's going to be able to give you hacks for Pokemon Go. So first things first, you want to use a browser. And you just want to type in Tweak Door. Look like It should like this right here with like a little joker face. So you just want to hit Open Store down at the bottom there. And it will bring you up here. But obviously we don't see Pokemon Go. So you want to hit Search. And it'll bring up all these different apps like Among Us Hack. I don't even know. That's weird. I don't even know. Anyway, you want to click the iPogo. You see where it says Spoofer Pro and iPogo? You just click iPogo right there. And you just click the green Get button. And you want to hit Install. And that's it. You've pretty much downloaded the hacks. Um, But there are a few more steps and I will show you what to do once this downloads. All right, guys, so once it's installed, you're gonna need to do one extra step. And that is, if I, so if I click on Pokemon Go now, it should say untrusted enterprise developer, but that's super easy to fix. Click this, scroll down, uh oh, general, and you go down here, VPN and device management, click this, trust. Pokemon Go. Now, once you go out, that's all you have to do. Now you're in Pokemon Go. And now you can already see that we have some stuff that doesn't look normal. And let me just go through the process of signing in. So, guys, I am in Pokemon Go. Now, let me show you one thing, or let me tell you one thing before I actually start showing you all the things to do. Um, and the first thing is don't teleport guys i use this on my main account i all like i use this on my main account quite frequently when i'm trying to get another thing in my decks or i'm trying to you know be the gym or something i'm always using this but i made the mistake the other day of teleporting twice in 10 minutes or so and it gave me a warning i didn't get banned but it did give me a warning on my account which basically just says every time I load into the game, it just says don't do it again or you will get permanently banned. And it's quite annoying, but I could get permanently banned. So I don't recommend teleporting. And if you do, even if you do teleport, guys, you 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 get soft banned for like two hours. And what I mean by soft banned, or I don't know another term for it, but I'm just going to call it soft ban, is you're not banned and you can still use the game, but... You cannot do anything for two hours. Like you can't catch Pokemon. You can't spin the little um the little Poke stops. You can't you can't do anything for two hours. But if you were to wait that two hours, you technically nothing would happen to you, and you could still play the game. So I mean, if that's if you want to wait for two hours, then you can. But I I don't know. I don't do it anymore. I don't recommend it. And so yeah, basically don't teleport. And if you are, if you do want to go to some place like far away without teleporting, so if I go to this feed, I go to IV one hundred. Um, so perfect IVs right here. You can hit auto walk, and that is a way better alternative than teleporting, just because like teleporting you you have the chance to get banned, but auto walking, you're you're spoofing the game, meaning that it can't see your actual location, so it thinks you're at that spot. So by auto walking, it thinks you're actually walking instead of obviously just teleporting to a different random spot in the world, and it's obviously gonna figure that out. So if you do want to go to like a a gym or something nearby, you can auto walk, and that's that's actually what I do. Okay, so yeah, I'll, let me talk about the joystick. So with the joystick, if you hold down on the screen, you can bring up this joystick, and you can see I'm I'm already walking around. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much all there is. Now this little sidebar. Um, if I hit, like, I hit the crab. Now it's going to take me to that crab. 
And I guess that the crab's over near this pokey stop that I was just at. But, and also, this will show you your decks. So, like, I'm pretty sure that if I click any of these, I don't have them. But, let me just wait for a couple seconds. And you may have to just walk a little bit with the joystick. And then it, they should spawn. Yep, there it is. So, there's the crab right there. That's, and, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Just don't teleport. Use auto walk. Use the joystick. You'll be perfectly fine. You're not going to get banned. And I haven't been banned. I use this on my main account not going to give you a virus or anything you don't have to use a computer to do this it's all on your phone it's very simple guys um if you do want to hack pokemon go that's how to do it and it's that easy so please i would appreciate you leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe guys i think i'm at 205 subscribers or something um and yeah, I haven't been uploading a lot recently. So yeah, that's basically it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you are new, please subscribe, guys. I really appreciate it. And yeah, peace.